is up you guys and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, the Scarander or Princess Chris. Yeah, it's an in-game joke. Damn you whiplash. <laughs> it seems to be sticking around too. Um <laughs> have to get over that. Nevertheless, uh, don't forget to like this video as usual, guys. I do appreciate them. Um and today I'm going against a fellow Swede. Uh, her name is Caramelon. Uh, she usually plays in the higher tiers, but uh, lower the ranks, just for me. Uh, she wanted to try out her new team. Uh, it is a mixed tier, but it definitely is an RU and NU stuff in there. So I'm <laughs> look, definitely looking forward to this. Uh, I myself is using Volby, which is the same set as Star that she used. It's a great set with DB Light and Fall Play. Uh, Drogology, Gallade, Excavalgia, um, Shedinia, and Magneton. Uh, I definitely would bring in walls here, uh, which is going to be hopefully enough to actually, um, you know, um, going up against this team. This is a very physical, special offensive, heavy team, both with Flygon, Nine Tails, Minitrick, uh, Persian, which is definitely a cool poke, Selby, which I've never gone up against, and well, Slurpuff. And Slurpuff is always, always tough to deal with. Uh, I had no idea what I was going against. So, anyway, let's go. So anyway, in the beginning I was so sure it was going to bring a Flygon, so I went for Wolby myself, thinking I could go for a Fall Play. Did not expect the Slurpuff, so I did want to evade it for going for a Unburden effect. Well, she went for Belly Drum, and going for a knockoff here was a total waste of time, and now I am going to pick it because I can't do anything, I can't take a Flare from this range. So I go into my Sectrom or Shiny Shidinya, hoping that she will force herself to switch. Well, wishful thinking of me, I guess. Uh, she stays in, setting up both Wish and Cotton Guard, uh, and I pretty much can't do anything against her. She is in a very good position. There is no reason for her to switch out. So they expect to go for another Cotton Guard or Wish. Uh, luckily for me, she went to do that. Uh, so I went for <laughs> a Flash Gun here. Had I not have that Eevee Light, I definitely wouldn't have survived this Play Rough. And she will pretty much just have Play Roughed all of my teammates and, well, sweep me, really. So the match did not end <laughs> that early. Uh, anyway, I did expect the earthquake comment, so I just went into my Volpi. Uh, well, to basically just go for fall play, which I should have done to begin with. And, uh, well, that Selby took heavy damage there. Uh, she will go for Giga Drain, trying to recover some there, and, well, it's definitely not enough. And, um, I don't take it out, but I'm pretty darn close to. So anyway, I was thinking I might as well switch out and come in a better position with Sekron, because you know, I don't have to take a Giga Drain. Did not expect the Nine Tails. So, because of that, I need to switch out her again, so I'm going to switch out to my Drogaldi, hoping she go for a flamethrower. She sees right through that and go for a Psyshock, which hurts so much. Uh, and well, now I can't stay in. I, I definitely don't want to sack up my Drogaldi right away there. So go for another Psyshock, and it does a lot on him too. Uh, I'm going to go for Drain Punch here. She did not expect me to go for, uh, or have an Assault Vest there, so definitely does less damage there. And the Brain Punch will do 50% and takes me in a better position, it's true. Um, but I'm still not in a good position to actually take her down. So because of that, I decided to switch out. Uh, going back to my Sylvie. Uh, hoping that she will bring another uh, Flamethrower, actually. Um, now she started to scare me off. I'm going for Protect her, just scouting instead of Hidden Power Ice. Uh, I don't find that out. I do find out that she got Hidden Power, most likely Hidden uh, Ice type. So for that reason, I just decided, you know what, I switch out. I I, has to, I have to force her to go for an overheat. Um, so I'm just going to go for a sucker punch here, doing some damage. She will go for hidden power, thinking I will switch back into my Drogaldi. Uh, go for a shadow sneak, do some hefty damage really. She just finally go for the overheat, taking out my Sekrom. And, uh, well, there's really nothing I can do there. Uh, but now at least I don't have to fear the hidden power that much. Uh, she just sees that too, and just go for a Volt Switch, doing some... Yeah, some damage at least. I myself set up spikes here. I did expect um, an earthquake coming my way again, because I don't use uh, Dragon Claw on my Flygon, which she does, and it hurts. It really hurts. Um, so she kind of forced me here to play my hand to go for a roost here to actually recover. And I'll, she will see that I will definitely get the upper hand and uh, switch out to Persian, which will take heavy damage from this power play. Uh, Though, I'll give it this, I did not expect to go for a play rough here. Luckily, my Magneton resisted both, uh, fake out the play rough, but wow, that would probably have taken out, or pretty close to actually taking out my Volby. Um, so right, at least, um, 
Poison Knight will take it out, and I will just use Rest here to <laughs> recover my Magneto, consider how uh, versatile it is. Uh, still though, it's thinking about it, she, it's kind of lacklustering because there is really nothing it can do against any of her pokes now, so I might as well sack it. Uh, I'm bringing my Spade instead, thinking of sacking him. Uh, so the Flamethrower will do some hefty damage, and uh, well, the Poison will take it out. So I do expect the uh, Manectric to come back here, so I'm just gonna go for a Shadow Sneak. Uh, getting some damage on it, and then just try to wall it with my Drogaldi. So anyway, I did not expect that uh, Shadows need to do as much, but it's on staff, plus on Intimidate, so I mean, there is an explanation for it. So anyway, bring in my Sylvia here, just going for Protect to get some HP back here, because I don't know how much this city power will actually do. Um, and well, after that, just go and set up another layer of Toxic Spikes. Thinking about it afterwards, it kind of was unnecessary considering she only got Fly on and Selby left. And Selby is in the range where he just will die on the switch in barely, or almost. And well, Fly on is actually immune to uh, Toxic Spike because of the Levitate ability. Um, so yeah, kind of waste of a turn really. So anyway, <laughs> now we have this matchup again. And there is really nothing she can do, and now I can just roost up and recover in you know, a better position, just and not and just go for fall place. Knowing that I. I was still so to one shot with the one fall play, obviously I don't do that. But I heard it enough to actually take it out with two. So yeah. <laughs> I feel really awful thinking about it, considering how good position I actually become because of uh, this defensive core in my team. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, GG. So alright, thank you for watching this game guys. Like I said there, the only reason I really won this game was not because I had a better strategy or anything like that. I actually think Caramel uh, had upper hand from the beginning. Uh, had I not had Shedinja, there is no idea how bad this battle really would have turned. She'll probably sweep me right through, thinking about it. And well, the only reason I actually won in the beginning was because I could stall. And well, fall play does really like um, a lot of damage. So anyway, Caramel, thank you for this game. Um, I hope to battle you soon again. Um, I do fear you a little because you are definitely a good battler. I'm <laughs> looking forward to our next battle. And also, if you guys have been watching this game, don't forget to follow her on Twitter with the same name, Caramelon. Uh, she also has a YouTube channel, so make sure to check that one out. Um, so anyway, guys, thank you for joining, and bye!